everyone, what's going on? Joey here, and that was such a fun episode of The Masked Singer. I have to admit, going into that episode, I was kind of upset, especially with the whole Leslie Jordan thing. You see, if you joined us at our pre-show Masked Singer live stream at 7 o'clock, we talked about it for a while because a lot of us were, you know, really sad. I was driving to set when that happened, and uh, he had been on the show, and you know, the whole thing with Ken not being there. And so going into the episode, a lot of us were upset to see Leslie. But as someone told me, it's like one of those things where you get to see your best friend one more time, you know, if they had passed, something like that. Like, it was just kind of like a really, really nice send off, I guess, in a way. Because a lot of us were kind of left really upset. And I know that he's doing other projects, but, you know, this one was just like really nice just to kind of send him goodbye he had a lot of fun and while fox really didn't do a, a, a in tribute kind of thing they did put it everywhere online so it is kind of nice that they did do that but anyway let's go ahead and dive into last night's episode last night was the beginning of a whole new group of characters which means the lambs and the harp they're actually up over here I have reveal videos for both of these characters. I have the links for those in the description below. Why don't you check them out and tell me if you think I'm right or wrong. I think I'm right. But, you know, I always want to get your input. But that meant that we had three new characters last night. We had the Gopher, Venus Flytrap, and the Bride, Bridezilla. And the funny thing is, I think it was even Robin that called her a Bridezilla. Which, I mean, we wound up later on finding out that it was a guy. And I have to admit, really, really funny stuff. You guys, during our Masked Singer pre-show live stream, got some of these clues really right and guessed someone really right before it even started. And it's really funny how you guys do that. But let's just go ahead and jump back into um, to what we actually had last night. You see, we had a lot of celebrities on there. Charla E. We had Leslie Jordan. We had Joel McHale. And I love Joel. But I think as Nicole pointed out, Ken wasn't there. So Joel took over not just his seat, but also his mindset when it comes to guessing people under the mask. Like, I feel like maybe Ken went to Joel and said, hey, by the way, if you're, oh, what are you doing? If you're taking over for me, don't guess people right. And I think that's kind of what happened, which I have to admit was kind of funny. Will you get over there, Nick Lachey? Come on, stay. Anyway, so I, I kind of think that's what happened last night. But anyway. Let's dive into last night's show. The first person to be revealed was the Venus flytrap. And I have to admit, the clue package for this definitely kind of brought up to being some kind of boxer, someone who's really well known, Hall of Fame episode, someone really big. And so I want to know, did you get it right? It was George Foreman. That's right, George Foreman. Welcome to the Mask Singer. You get a golden X. I, I honestly, for someone his age, Dude, that guy could still move. I guess, well, I mean, yeah, he's been training his whole life. And in his post-winning, or not winning, I guess, post-reveal interview, he said, you know, haven't done, you know, push-ups or exercises really in a while, but he had to do it for the show, and he loved it. And it's just kind of cool to see him on here. And what was even funnier is that the next person was revealed, which was the gopher. His name was also George. It was George Clinton. And I can't believe... The celebrities that they've been getting on this season of The Masked Singer. Honestly, this season, and I get it, the show's been going on longer. Everyone loves this show. And I um, mean, like, even I think George Foreman said his wife was like, you should do it. They love watching it together. I think George Clinton uh, even said that he watched it with his grandkids or something like that. We're getting such big names on this show. A lot of people come and say, how many more seasons? How many more seasons? If they're getting celebrities like George Foreman and George Clinton on the show, this is going to go for a long time. I mean, even I was like, damn, like, how do you get so many people on here? Anyway, George Clinton, thank you for joining us. Now, that meant all we have left was the bride of the bridezilla. And I told you guys in the Mask Singer preview video that I did on Tuesday that I thought that the Bridezilla was going to continue because since way before this season even started, it was like at the top. All the PR stuff was, was the Bride and they would never go ahead and kind of advertise a character that'd be revealed in the first episode. So with that being said, we have clues and we have pitch correct audio for this character. And yes, a lot of people are saying, who do you think it is? 
I am going to film a reveal video for the bride and it's going to be online tomorrow. So make sure you go ahead and check that out and then you tell me if you agree or disagree. Anyway, let's break down the clues. The bride says, during this clue package, dearly beloved, we're gathered here today for a Hall of Fame night that I vow to rock. I'm always telling feel-good stories, but let me explain how I ended up here alone at this junkyard wedding. I have a rugged personality. I live on the road selling out arenas. And I have an appetite to destroy things. And that's true. Destroys a lot of things. Uh, so I'm notorious for being in some of the most messiest feuds. I've gone the solo route. But I've come here to master a new commitment to you. The Masked Singer Freaks. So tonight, here comes the bride. That was a fun clue package, wasn't it? It was. Anyway, visual clues. A globe with a crown. A rose. Rock and roll symbol, as you know. Actually, what is the real name for that? I don't even know what this is. Anyway, uh, a music note sign and a snake. Those are actually pins on him. And um, now we have the pitch correct audio. And it's so funny because the pitch correct audio means nothing for this character because doing the whole thing, he was taller like this. And he was more taller like this. So when you're doing like a pitch correct, it doesn't really do anything for you. For me, this character, his real voice is in the singing. And, I mean, that voice is very, very recognizable. I mean, very, very <laughs> recognizable. But I'm going to play the pitch correct audio for you anyway. Take a listen. Dearly beloved, we're gathered here today for a Hall of Fame night that I vow to rock. Okay. I'm always telling feel-good stories, but let me explain how I ended up here. Alone, at this junkyard wedding. I have a rugged personality. I live on the road selling out arenas, and I have an appetite for destroying things. So I'm notorious for being in some of the messiest feuds. I've gone the solo route, but I've come here to master. Master a new commitment with all you mass singer freaks. Dearly beloved, we're gathered here today for a Hall of Fame night that I vow to rock. I'm always telling feel-good stories, but let me explain how I ended up here. Alone, at this junkyard wedding. I have a rugged personality. I live on the road selling out arenas. And I have an appetite for destroying things. So I'm notorious for being in some of the messiest feuds. I've gone the solo route, but I've come here to master. Master a new commitment with all you mass singer freaks. So there you guys go. Let me know in the comment section who do you think that is. And please subscribe, turn on notifications, because tomorrow I will have a reveal video for the bride. And I know you don't want to miss it. Anyway, thank you for joining me. Please stay safe and sound. I'm Joey. I'll see you later. Bye.